Basically, I'm going to be looking at definitions um, and interest rates and security and just what are the differences between the different types of credit. Um, so you'll hear a lot of different terms in the in the world, and uh, I just wanted to make sure you understand this as part of our personal finance unit. So I'm going to be going over in this. We're going to look at credit cards. We're going to look at personal loans, student loans, mortgages, second mortgages, and home equity loans, and then finally auto loans. And these are not in any special order or anything like that. So the first one we've got is credit cards and lines of credit. Um, a credit card would be a Basically, some the Visa, MasterCard that you see, you apply from a bank, you get it from Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Discover, and it normally has a set limit. The limit could be 500, 1,000, 2,500, 5,000, 10,000, and so on. A line of credit could be the same thing. It could be you have overdraft checking, or you might have uh, $500 tied to your checking account, which is a line that you pay back. Now, it uh, you can't go over the limit. Um, it is unsecured, which means there is no asset behind it. You just sign your name and then you promise to pay it back. And open line of credit means you can get the 500, use it, pay it off, get the 500, use it, pay it off, whereas in another type of loan, once you pay it off, you have to apply for a new uh, loan. So this one is very flexible. If you have a thousand dollar line of credit and you use fifty dollars, you still have nine hundred fifty left and you can pay the fifty and then you have a thousand left. Um, the interest rates are normally the highest for these types of loans. Um, they're anywhere from like, you know, a little bit less than 10 all the way up to 50%. Um, so I see a lot of them at 29%, uh, 19%. It all depends on your credit and your credit history. Same thing with the lines of credit. They're basically the same thing. And they're normally an amount that they ask you to pay $10 a month or $20 a month, the minimum payment. Please don't make the minimum payments when you get these types of loans. Um, because if you make the minimum payment, you're going to be paying for years, um, mostly interest back, and it gets very expensive. So the basic rule of thumb is if you borrow uh, some money, make sure you can pay it off at the end of the month so you don't pay any interest. Second is personal loans, and I did a lot of these at People Savings Bank in Connecticut, and these were people were getting uh, loans for furniture, loans for um, just personal use. So we didn't like to do debt consolidation loans, but loans that were buying something, getting a furnace, uh, getting something. It was unsecured, so there is no asset tied to it. You just sign for it and you promise to pay it back. Normal term is about six months, uh, 12 months, two years, three years. You can get that, and it depends on the amount. I did a lot of them for $1,000, $2,000. We had one or two year terms. Interest rate is less than a uh, credit card rate. Um, so you might find it 15% or 12%. It depends on uh, the bank and what you're doing and, of course, your credit. The next type of loan is student loans, and I do a lot of these student loans and see these when I worked at People's Savings Bank Plus with ASU. Um, these are loans that are guaranteed by the federal government. There are subsidized loans and unsubsidized loans. Um, the interest rate's roughly the same. It's very cheap. You're looking at the uh, 4 to 5% range. I think it's like 4.62 or 4.67%. Uh, subsidized means the federal government pays the interest while you're in school and then after you're out of school or gone out of school or left after six months then you begin paying it back. Unsubsidized loan means the interest accrues and it builds up and it's become part of your principal. So even though you're not paying on it until you get out of school, the principal balance keeps increasing. Student loans are used for education purposes. They're, they can be used for tuition. They can be used for meals. They can be used for housing. A lot of students get in trouble with using uh, student loans to use it to buy a car, to buy assets, to buy things that they don't need for school, so make sure you don't do that. Um, $1.3 trillion is the outstanding student loan debt, so be very careful with it. The most most uh, students can get is about 50000 in student, student loans over their four years in college, so that's a lot of money. So the next one here we have is mortgages, second mortgages, and home equity loans. A mortgage is what you use to buy your house. It is secured by the house, so there is um, your house can be taken away if you don't make payments on it, so you need to be careful with this. So it's not just on your signature, but you use it to buy a house. A refinance is actually taking your mortgage and just getting a new rate and a new term. So you'll hear refinance, you'll hear mortgage, and a mortgage is used, it's basically the loan to buy your house. Normally, they're 30 years in term. They can be 15 years in term, 20, 25. The interest rates are the cheapest because they're secured, so I see a lot of fixed rates. Mine, personally, is five and a quarter. I see some fixed rates at four and a half, so you see a lot of rates that are low. 
there for 30 years and the principal and interest is small so you can afford to buy the buy the house. Now a second mortgage is normally for 15 years, it can be for 20 years, and it's also to basically buy something else. You can uh, get a second mortgage for home improvements, you can get it to do um, renovations on your house, you can use it for any number of reasons. A home equity loan is basically a large line of credit. So it's a line of credit, but it's tied to your house. That's why it's a mortgage. It's a home equity loan. So it's like a big, huge credit card. It also is a cheap rate. It's under 10%. I uh, have one at like 9%, and I've seen some at 8 and 7%. And it works like a credit card. So you don't have to pay the entire thing off until it starts repayment. You, If you get a $50,000 line of credit and you pay it off, you can then re-get it again. So it works just like a credit card. Um, it's a second mortgage, so if you don't pay it, the bank can take your house away. Um, it normally is in second position, so the first mortgage gets first priority if there's any problems with paying your loan, and then the second is after that. So these are the types of mortgages. So uh, normally I see home line of credit 10 years or 5 years, and then after that, then you go back into repayment. So mortgage is the cheapest, tied by the house. Second mortgage is a little bit more expensive. It's also tied to the house. Mortgage is 30 years in term, second mortgage is 15 or 20 years, and then you have your line of credit. The last loan down here is an auto loan, and it's secured by your car, so if something happens, you don't make the payment, your, your car can be taken away. I've seen terms anywhere from one year to seven years. Um, the interest rates normally are pretty good. They're actually, I've seen 0% financing, I see 5%, 10%, 15%, uh, depending on your credit. So if you have good credit, you get a better rate. If you have poor credit, then you get a higher rate. Terms, like I said, anything uh, up to seven years, I don't see many of that. And if it's a used car, it's actually going to be three years or four years. Um, so auto loans have a monthly principal and interest, and you pay it off at the end of the term. So it's not a line of credit, and once that loan's paid off, uh, you have to get a new loan for it. So these are different types of credits. Um, there are others out there. I didn't cover all of them, but these are the most important ones that you need to know. And if you have any questions about s what it means to be secured or the term or the interest rate, please ask questions on that. And I'll have some other videos that will go over some of the terms, credit reports, and things for uh, finances. So thanks a lot, and have a good day. And if you have any questions, post after the video.